Hey guys, it's the Riker Dan. I've got a John Deere 185 Hydro and I'm going to show you how to change the front wheel bearings. Okay, so these bearings are pretty easy to replace. So all you're going to do is take the snap ring off the wheel and then you're able to just slide the whole wheel right off of the axle there. As you can see, it's missing a little bit of grease. And this side isn't too bad, as you can see the bearing is still pretty good, pretty intact, but it's, a, it's I think it's got a little bit of play in it on both the inside and the outside. So as we head over to the other side, do the same thing, we'll pull that snap ring off, and as you can see I can wiggle this wheel all over the place because my uh, bearing on this side is really, really loose. And as I flip it around you can see on this side my bearing is pretty much disintegrated. I have just the ring all that, that was all that was left on the inside uh, but as you can see this bearing here has a ton of play in it and that's gonna make your wheel just just be really loose on your axle as you drive and this side obviously has nothing on it so we definitely need to replace the bearings you need four bearings two for each wheel inside and outside and then you're gonna need a snap ring for each side and then you need to get some grease and you can get lithium grease or just a standard uh, multi-purpose grease high temp grease and then I'll show you what this piece of rebar is for in a second okay so this is the ring that was all that was left out of that bearing on the left side and as you can see I'm missing a 99.9% .9 of my bearing and on the outside if we look at the bearing there there's just a ton of play and that's not supposed to be like that so gonna flip it over and this is where the bearing was and as you can see I'm all I have is just the ring and I'm missing the bearing balls that were supposed to be in there and pretty much everything else so we need to put a new one in okay so if you don't have a big punch you can use this piece of rebar or just a steel rod because all we need to do is just stick that through the wheel to be able to tap out that bearing and just tap 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 until finally that bearing will come out and here's the one side and as you can see it's got a lot of play and we need to replace it. So even though the other side didn't really have a bearing in there, they still have the wraith or the outside ring, uh, part of the bearing that's still in there. So we need to tap that out and make sure it's nice and clean. This wheel has no uh, pieces of metal in the wheel itself. We want to pull out all those pieces of the bearing. So we want to make sure that inside of that wheel is nice and clean. There aren't any metal shavings or anything because we want to make sure that that new bearing will go in nice and easy. And then we'll just do the other wheel and use the same thing. Use that rebar, tap that bearing out, and you just flip over the wheel and pull that bearing, get that one out of the way. And then we'll do the other side as well. Just tap, tap, tap until it finally comes out. And that one is out as well. And if we take those bearings and compare them to the new ones, you're going to see a giant difference. These new ones are going to be way better and the uh, wheels are gonna roll a lot easier okay so we're just gonna take some of that grease that we got and we're gonna put it on the outside of the bearing just make sure we get it nice and lubed up so it will slide into the wheel a lot easier just put a little grease on the outside of that bearing and then we'll take a little grease and put it on the inside of the wheel make sure you get it nice and coated good and this bearing will be put right in the middle of the wheel and you want to make sure it's lined up properly and going in straight and then we'll just take a uh, shop rag and a block of wood and put that right over the bearing make sure it's nice and flat because what we're going to do is just tap this bearing straight into the wheel and I'm just using a shop towel just to kind of um, cushion it just a little bit uh, from the uh, block of wood but you're just going to tap 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 and we'll pull that off to make sure it's going in straight and it's lined up it's not going down at an angle and you just pull that off and check it and put it back on there and just tap away tap away until that bearing just slides slowly into the wheel so if the wheel is bouncing a little bit from being on a table or a shop table just put the wheel right on the ground and start hammering that bearing in Okay, so once you get your bearings in, this is what they should look like. You need to make sure that they were hammered straight in, they're square, they're not at an angle or anything, otherwise you're going to have to take them out and put them back in. But make sure you get all four in and this is what they should look like. 
So let's clean up these wheels before we put them back on. Okay, the last thing we need to do before we install the wheels is to make sure that we pack the inside of the wheel with grease. And this is to make sure that the wheels and the bearings don't burn up, they don't get too hot, they're nice and well lubricated. But what you can do is use a spatula like this and you can pack that grease in there and all you do is just keep pushing the grease in there until it goes in a little bit more and just keep adding until it comes out the other side. So we're going to flip it over and as you can see it started to come out the other side but this really doesn't mean that the inside of the wheel is full. So what I'm going to do is uh, just put it a little bit more on this side and when you think you've got a lot of it packed in there you can flip it up and you want to hold your finger on one side and push on the other side and you'll kind of feel a bubble because there'll be air inside and there really won't be as much grease inside the wheel as you think there is so you need to just keep pushing the grease in until it is completely packed full so after you get the wheels packed full of grease you're just gonna take a rag and clean off the excess and so now they are ready to be installed on the lawnmower okay so if you don't have a lock ring tool you can just use a small needle nose and just put the two ends in there and then just squeeze the opposite way as you normally would but this will open up that lock ring okay so the first wheel you just need to have a rag ready because there's gonna be a lot of grease that's gonna come out as you put it on but just hold that rag over the end of the bearing there and just slide it right on and after you slide it on just take that rag and wipe off all the excess grease and now it's time for that lock ring so just take that needle nose pliers squeeze the opposite way and open it up and just snap it right over the end okay then the last thing to do is just to put on your wheel cap and then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side So that's it, you're done. That's how easy it is to change your bearings on your wheels on your lawnmower. And this can be on either a John Deere or any riding lawnmower. I hope this video helped you save some time and money doing it yourself. Check out my channel because I have lots of other lawnmower fix it videos that I think you will like. Also make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video or any other video I have created. Hey also follow me on Twitter and Instagram too. All the info will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.